Now, spend the day at Paramount Studios with director Robert Duncan McNeil. What are my assets here? I, I, I've got Paramount Studios, and if I pull the right strings and do the right thing, maybe I can get the back lot. That's kind of a hip, cool location. What kind of story could I create around this actor and the back lot and have it be funny? I needed a comedy. So it was all like, I mean, literally I sat down and was like going, what do I want to accomplish? So I kind of came up with this idea of a hitman because that's what this actor kind of uh, brought to my mind, but I wanted to put a spin on it. So I came up with the hitman, Cupid thing. Are you rolling this? Yeah. You are? That's my name. Robert McNeil, but they left out my middle name, Duncan, because I need to have the longest name in the cast. I was doing a little play in New York off Broadway for, you know, peanuts a week. I was, you know, in a panic about my life and my bank account. And all of a sudden, Star Trek calls up and they said, remember that guest star role you did years ago? They really like that performance and they've got a new series now. They're thinking about bringing you on, you know, for, for a regular. And I'm like, God, God. Yeah, this is this right here is the makeup uh, that Ethan Phillips wears on our show. He plays Neelix, and he sticks this on and some other stuff on his face uh, for our show on Star Trek. And uh, Ethan is who you just saw in Nine Millimeter of Love. Now Charlotte worked on Nine Millimeter of Love. Yes, I did. And I told Charlotte, oh, it'll just be a couple of fun, <laughs> easy days. And there we were Sunday night after working about. 24 straight hours. I, I had all these people that were willing to come out for free. You know, everybody worked for free. They worked for free once. They won't do it again. <laughs> Here we are on the back lot of Paramount Studios. This is where I shot 9mm of Love. There's no real stores. It's all um, just empty shelves. And we had to dress everything. And, and it was a pretty big production for a short film. We are doing one of those classic filler scenes where uh, I've invited my wife to come for a romantic getaway and, uh, and she's too busy and it's kind of a filler scene. Gives me a chance to wear a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, it's nice, huh? Camera's coming up. This is my office. This is where for seven years I've been able to, between scenes, just kind of brainstorm or read. It's strange. You know, in some ways, seven years, this whole series has flown by. It feels like we just started, you know. And, and in a lot of other ways, I feel like I've been doing this my whole life, you know. Um, it's going to be strange not to put on a spacesuit, you know. I'm really looking forward to, to moving on, you know, to kind of graduating from Star Trek. I want people, hopefully, to hire me to bring me into projects as a director because they think I'll do that well and not because I was on Star Trek or some other show or, you know, um, but just because I do that well.